Tim Tatro here from ChainsawMilling.net. I just wanted to share with you the experimental saw that I have that I put online a while ago. Um, it's been a while since I posted anything because I got busy doing uh, you know, work and then the pandemic came and I had to help people with that. Um, but what I did with this saw, I put on a, an hour meter, it's an hour tack meter, and I have I put it on when I first put a new piston in it and just rebuilt the whole thing. Yeah, it's got the scored up cylinder and a bunch of repairs on the crankcase. But I have used it some. It's got 14.8 hours on it. And um, so I have used it some. I didn't I just didn't have the time to record and, and keep you up to date on it. It's been running pretty good except a couple times and I heard some clicks inside and it sounded like a ring was start trying to snag after the first time I did I heard that noise I, I pulled the the uh, muffler off and looked at the piston and it looked normal and then it happened again the second time but it still starts and runs really good and uh, I when I first rebuilt it I put a cheap piston in it used it a little bit and then for some reason I had the muffler off and, and I noticed the ring end gap I could see the ring end gaps through the exhaust port so one of the pins for the ring end gap to hold the rings in place had pushed in and then I contacted the supplier and they gave me a new piston it was the same same type of piston same quality and all that I put that one in so I'm wondering if maybe it's because of the cheap piston. It was a $20 piston. And, um, but I could put another piston in just in case, but I don't think I'm going to do that. If it were a nice saw, I'd do it. But um, I'm going to use it. I have a, a large pine tree over there. It's about 20 inches in diameter. The main log's almost 40 feet long, so I'll be using it for that. It's not going to surprise me if I snag a ring or something happens. That that isn't going to be necessarily from all the fixes it has, I don't think. But um, it is what it is. I, you know, I've been using mostly using the castor oil two cycle mix instead of regular two cycle. But I have used a lot of normal two cycle just because I ran out of the castor oil and then had to use the the regular stuff. But um, I'll, right now I'm just using regular mix but I, I can mix them up I'm, I'm not home now I'm out of town at my mom's house and I didn't bring extra jug so I have to get a new jug just for castor oil but I'll keep you updated now since I have some time to do some milling 